Okay, this is a video to show you how to add rail end plates to an older style Vesuvius Plus or Vesuvius Fresh. Some of the earlier models do not have a threaded um, end plate. They only have a threaded insert. And uh, sometimes when you put a handle or a hook in there, uh, these could break out. So we designed a new plate that will increase strength and now you can actually put a little more force on your handles and hooks and these will be a big upgrade so in the kit you're going to get four of these and you're going to get screws for all of those um, you're going to get some um, plugs uh, that will cover some holes that you're going to end up making after you take these off um, and you're going to get a square driver some of these were installed with a square driver bit some of them with the Phillips, so in case you have a square driver, we provided a bit for that. Uh, and there's a drill bit. So um, first step you're going to do is remove these um, elastic cables. Um, we're also going to provide um, new cables that will go from rod to rod to put on your bottom shelf. Um, these seem to have been breaking off for some users and uh, we decided to make it a little bit better for you guys. So first we're going to remove these. Discard. And then next we have these uh, little, little plugs uh, just for aesthetics. Cover that hole you just made. They should go in that hole, if not a little hammering, light hammer will push it in just fine. And uh, cover the boo-boo. You can open that hole up a little bit if you need to. That one seemed to go in fine. Okay. So now, now you have, uh, you won't have any interference when you're drilling in the fastener, otherwise you would collide screws. So I'll show you on this other side. So these are a little, this model is a little beat up to demo, so you can see some wear and tear. We have our original threaded insert. So the first step you're going to do is take one end plate. Take a fastener, and this is a threaded stud knob for uh, for, a, for a lava hook. Uh, we're going to use this. Um, you, if you don't have lava hooks, um, uh, you could use, maybe use a handle or any th any uh, quarter inch twenty thread machine thread. So take the plate, cover it up on the end of the plate. Take your threaded stud. Start screwing it into place until you find the original threaded insert in the rail. And you don't need to tighten it all the way yet, um, or at all. All we're doing is getting a good eyeball squareness to where this plate's going to land. Take a fastener and go inside these holes and make an impression for where we're going to put our pilot hole. Okay, so then you can remove the plate, and then we're going to drill a pilot hole in the impressions. So load in the provided drill bit, and if your drill has multiple speeds, go to high speed here, and find that impression we made. And you're going to drill all the way through. Stay as square as you can, of course. I went as far as that drill bit would allow me. So then, let's switch to a standard 
Phillips head driver. And the, the heads are pretty small on these fasteners. So you gotta go slow. So first, make sure there's there's um, a beveled side where there's chamfers on this block and a flat side. There's no up and down though. So you can go either direction here. Load in the fastener, find your pilot hole. Get started by hand so it's in the right place. And then I'm gonna drive them in. But go to uh, go to low speed on your drill. And if you have a torque setting, bring it down to about five. It's a long fastener, but be patient. I don't want to force this. Okay. You'll notice it click because you got your torque set low. And then your end plate's installed. So you repeat those steps on all four ends and then you're fully upgraded to the newer style Vesuvius decks. And then you can use your hooks and handles much more efficiently and safely. And let us know if you have any questions. Good luck.